Question number one. How can a radiographer technologist minimize the possible risk of contrast reaction to patients? Option A. Using the smallest amount of contrast possible. Option B. Using low osmolar contrast agents. Option C. Using non-ionic contrast agents. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. Question number two. Renal insufficiency induced by contrast medium may be prevented by which of the following? Option A. Ensuring adequate hydration. Option B. Discontinuing nephrotaxic medications. Option C. Using low osmolar, non-ionic contrast agents. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. Question number three. Which of the following is a fundamental element of treating anaphylactic reactions? Option A. Stabilization of the patient's airway. Option B. Cardiac functions. Option C. Blood pressure. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. Question number 4. The way to alleviate the symptoms associated with extravasation of contrast agents is R. Option A. Application of ice pack. Option B. Application of heating pads. Option C. Elevation. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. Question number 5. Tissue damage is more likely to occur with extravasation of following. Option A. Non-ionic contrast agents. Option B. Ionic contrast agents. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of the above. Right answer is option B. Question number 6. Which type of contrast agents should be used in patients who are at great risk of adverse reactions? Option A. Ionic contrast agents. Option B. Non-ionic contrast agents. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of the above. Right answer is option B. Question number 7. Radiology contrast media may have side effects ranging from itching to a life-threatening emergency, which is known as Option A. Contrast-induced nephropathy, sin, option B. Contrast-induced naturopathy, sin, option C. Contrast-induced nurturing, sin, option D. Contrast-induced neuropathy, sin. Right answer is option A. Question number 8. The mechanism of contrast-induced nephropathy, sin, usually occurs with the patients with Option A. Pre-existing cough and cold. Option B. Pre-existing renal impairment and diabetes. Option C. Pre-existing liver and gallbladder disease. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option B. Question number 9. The radiographer technologist must follow which of the following management to minimize the risk of sin? Option A. Monitoring renal function by measuring S-creatinine. Option B. Discontinuing nephrotaxic medicines. Option C. Choose contrast media at lowest dose possible. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. Question number 10. Which of the following patients are more prone to develop bronchospasm? Option A. Cholecystectomy patients. Option B. Colostomy patients. Option C. Asthma patients. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option C. Question number 11. If a patient has a previous anaphylactic or severe reaction to any contrast media, the technologist radiographer must follow which of the following? Option A. No IV contrast should be given. Option B. Consider non-contrast study. Option C. 
Other alternative study option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. Question number 12. The radiographer technologist must follow which of the following management to lower the chance of anaphylactic reactions in high-risk patients? Option A. Prednisone 50 mg PO prior to procedure. Option B. Hydrocortisone 50 mg IV prior to procedure. Option C. Diphenhydramine 25 mg prior to procedure. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. Question number 13. If an emergency procedure is required and the patient has a previous history of mild to moderate reactions, following management must be followed by a technologist radiographer. Option A. Consider non-contrast study or alternative study. Option B. Hydrocortisone 50 mg IV every 4 hours till procedure is completed. Option C. Diphenhydramine 25 mg IV 1 hour prior to procedure. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. Question number 14. If a patient is experiencing moderate to severe urticaria, hives, rash, itching, facial flushing, which of the following medications should be given immediately? Option A. Diphenhydramine 25 mg IV Option B. Hydroxazine 25 mg PO, if allergic to diphenhydramine Option C. Epinephrine 0.5 mg IM Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. Question number 15. What should a radiographer technologist do to a patient who is suffering a mild urticaria, hives, rash, itching, facial flushing? Option A. Stop infusion of contrast. Option B. Hold procedure until improved. Option C. Start oral hydration with water. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. Question number 16. What should a radiographer technologist do to a patient who is having hypotension with bradycardia? Option A. Position patient in Trendelenburg position. Option B. Initiate oxygen via mask at 10 liter per minute to maintain oxygen saturation is greater than or equal to 92% option C. Give sodium chloride 0.9% NS 1 liter IV bolus to maintain blood pressure option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. Question number 17. If symptoms of facial laryngeal edema are not resolved in a patient within 5 minutes of administration of epinephrine, the radiographer technologist should do the following. Option A. Call code blue team. Option B. Call radiologist to bedside. Option C. Call patient's relative to bedside. Option D. Both A and B. Right answer is option D. Question number 18. In case of severe hypertension, the technologist radiographer must do which of the following? Option A. Clonidine 0.2 mg per orally. Option B. Initiate oxygen via mask at 10 liter per minute to maintain oxygen saturation is greater than or equal to 92%. Option C. Monitor vital signs. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. Question number 19. If a patient has the symptoms of respiratory distress, what must a radiographer technologist do in this case? Option A. Secure airway and initiate oxygen via mask at 10 liter per minute to maintain O2 saturation. Option B. Epinephrine 0.5 mg IM. Option C. Place on cardiac monitoring and monitor vital signs. Option D. All of the above.
Right answer is option D. Question number 20. Which of the following medication is given to treat a patient of pulmonary edema? Option A. Furosemide 40 mg IV Option B. Clonidine 0.2 mg IV Option C. Lorazepam Option D. All of the above. Right answer is Option A. Question number 21. To treat the emergency condition of bronchospasm in a patient, which of the following treatments would you give? Option A. Call radiologist to bedside if patient is receiving beta blockers. Option B. Albuterol 2.5 mg nebulized solution inhaled via nebulizer. Option C. Epinephrine 0.5 mg IM. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. Question number 22. What would you do, if bronchospasm in a patient is not resolved within 5 minutes? Option A. Repeat epinephrine once in 5 minutes. Option B. Continue monitoring. Option C. Repeat albuterol dose as needed. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. Question number 23. If a patient is having seizures convulsions due to contrast media reaction, which of the following treatment will you give? Option A. Turn patient on left side to avoid aspiration. Option B. If seizures persists longer than 1 to 2 minute, give lorazepam 4 mg IV slow push. Option C. If no IV access, give rectal diazepam gel 20 mg. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. Question number 24. If a patient is having anxiety or panic attack after administration of contrast media, what will you do? Option A. Place on cardiac monitoring and monitor oxygen saturation. Option B. Observe patient for developing signs that may indicate another type of reaction. Option C. Monitor vitals. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D.